Hello everyone, today we want to talk about motivation and emotion. First, we go through motivation. What is motivation? Motivation is an internal state that moves and gives direction of thinking, emotion and behavior. Motivation also known as a goal behavior. There are five concept of motivation which are needs, motive, drive, behavior and fulfillment of needs. There are six theories of motivation which are instinct theory, drive reduction theory, arousal theory, hierarchy of needs theory, incentive theory, and cognitive theory. First, we go through instinct theory. A fixed pattern of behavior, inherent and not by learning. Instinct behavior also can be changed or improved by training. Animals' behavior are motivated by instinct, drive reduction theory also known as drive theory, by Clark Hall. The notion that physiological needs arouse tension that motivates action. Biological needs create internal states of tension. It also related to homeostasis. Hull used the term drive to refer to the state of tension or arousal caused by biological or physiological needs. Thirst, hunger, and the need for warmth are all examples of drives. A drive creates an unpleasant state, a tension that needs to be reduced. In order to reduce this state of tension, humans seek out ways to fulfill these biological needs. Human get a drink when thirsty. Human turn up the thermostat when cold. Hull suggested that humans will then repeat any behavior that reduces these drives. Third is arousal theory. The notion that motivate to achieve level of arousal. People are motivated to maintain level of physical and mental. Motives to increase stimulation when arousal is too low. People have slightly different optimal levels of arousal. For some people, optimal level of excitement might be going for a bike ride, for others, it might be a roller coaster. Next is hierarchy of needs. It's a fulfillment of physiological motive serves for social motives to meet their needs. Human need for food and shelter at the bottom and self-actualization at the top. This is Maslow's list of basic needs that have to be satisfied before people can become self-actualized. Low-level needs must be met before trying to satisfy higher-level needs. Self-actualization is to fulfill one's potential. Fifth, incentive theory is the notion that we behave in ways that produce a valued inducement. First, incentive. Second, intrinsic motivation and the third is extrinsic motivation. Our behavior is dictated by a desire for external rewards. Last is cognitive theory. Our behavior is motivated by our cognitive thinking and perception. When we believe that our religion is true, then we praise. First, instinct. People and animals are born with pre-programmed set of behaviors. Second is drive reduction. When some biological requirement is lacking, a drive is produced. Arousal. People seek an optimal level of stimulation. Next is incentive. External stimuli direct and energize behavior. Cognitive. Its thoughts, expectations and understanding of the world. Hierarchy of needs. Higher order and lower order must be fulfilled. Next topic is emotion. Emotion is a feeling state characterized by physiological arousal, expressive behaviors, and a cognitive interpretation. Here we have six basic emotion. First, happiness. Second, sadness. Third is fear. Fourth is anger. Fifth, surprise while sixth is discussed. Theories of emotion. Number one is James Lang theory. Second, Cannon-Barr theory. Number three is Schachter-Singer theory. Number four, facial feedback hypothesis theory. First, let's take a look in James Lang theory. Through this theory, emotion arises from physiological arousal. For example, happiness comes from smiling and sadness comes from crying. Emotional result when an individual become aware to emotion. Now let's talk about cannon bar theory physiological arousal and emotion happen simultaneously. Body physiological system and mind emotional experience are independently activated at some time. For example, I'm nervous and I feel butterflies in my stomach. The third theory of emotion is Schachter Singer theory. It also known as two-factor theory of emotion. Physiological arousal and cognitive label are required to have an emotion. Facial feedback hypothesis theory. The muscular movements involved in certain expressions. 
distinct physiological response pattern emerge for each emotions. Learning to self-regulate emotional expression can help in controlling emotions. Summaries of Theories First, James Lang Theory Biological arousal, heartbeat and blood pressure increase, break into a cold sweat. For example, thinking I am scared. Second is Cannon Bar Theory Biological arousal and emotional experience are sent at the same time to the brain. Third is facial feedback hypothesis. Facial muscle movements send information to the brain eyes widen, mouth opens. And the last one is, Schachter Singer Theory. Biological arousal will be interpretation of the arousal in terms of the context. There are many theories and perspective about why we act the way we act and how we feel the way we feel.